the Quad City's number one hit music station. It is B100. Uh, I've been waiting all week for this uh, this interview. We're going to chat with one of my favorite comedians of all time. He's going to be in Cedar Rapids at the U.S. Sailor Center on February 10th, which is a week after my uh, my birthday. Philadelphia's very own and uh, maybe new dad here like any second. Kevin Hart. Kevin, how are you today? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Kevin, before we go any further, if at any time during this our conversation you feel uncomfortable, use the word pineapples and we'll stop. You know what? You have my word that that is the safe word of choice. You will hear it. The minute that something is, but I feel like I need to avoid something. I'm saying pineapple. You know, I, I spent uh, most of the evening uh, watching or rewatching, excuse me, some of your uh, your stand up specials on uh, on Netflix. I'm a grown little man. Seriously funny. Uh, let me explain. Those are my favorite of all time. So, uh, yeah, they're very cool. I know I tell you, my nice guy, so let's get said in your favor. You won me over. That's right. So, uh, Kevin, you're, you're, you're getting ready to uh, head out on the road. Are you, are you currently, I mean, I know you're, you're probably waiting for some things to happen. Um, but are you, are you currently out on the road right now or is that coming here shortly? I am currently out on the road at this point, uh, you know, this is the beginning of the tour. These tours are massive. They're long, uh, and I know we go for about a year and a half, and I try to touch the globe. I try to put my feet uh, on the ground in so many different places, countries, you know, uh, and, and do it. So there's one goal on my mind, which is making history, and that goal is making history is a serious one. So in order to make the world last, you got to travel the world. But I have been, I'm playing with this over about the next year, three months, close to the end of that's cool. Um, so some of your movies that you've done, we'll just run down a couple of them. Uh, some of my favorites, Ride Along with Ice Cube. Uh, my daughter's favorites, Captain Underpants and Secret Life of Pets. Uh, Central Intelligence with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And you're getting ready to put out a remake of Jumanji with The Rock. Now, have you obviously, you've seen the original Jumanji, what did you take from that for your for this character? Well, a lot of people think they were going to leave me with that. It's actually a continuation. It's a continuation of the Jumanji world. So in this particular case, if Jumanji was going on today, what would it look like? What would it be? And that's what we did. We just made it, uh, you know, appeal to our generation. So instead of it coming from that board game, it's coming from a video game perspective. And the characters that are placed in that video game to get out our characters of the day that we can all relate to. And uh, I think the fans are for a treat. The people that love and supported that one. And so Robin Williams was unbelievably amazing. We want to bring that 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 moment to justice and uh and, and have you applaud our efforts of making that man proud as well. All right. So of of the movies that you've made do you have one that's your favorite? Is there one that just stands out that this is Kevin Hart's favorite movie that you've appeared in? If I had to choose for me, I, I, I got to go all the way back to the beginning. You know, you got to go to the movie. They gave you the opportunity to get to where you are. So I'm going to go back to a movie called Paper Soldiers, which a lot of people may not even remember or, 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 or know about. But after this conversation, know that that's the movie that the people listen to get a real, you know, which is to take that they can show up to people to get you work or jobs or opportunities. And whether that movie I would have the opportunity to have today. You know, and 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 it, it's funny you mentioned that movie because I didn't know you were in in that movie. Uh, I honestly thought your first movie was Forty Year Old Virgin. That's when I first learned of Kevin Hart. <laughs> that's uh, that's way down there on the chain. There's a lot before Forty Year Old Virgin. Although uh, for you, Virgin is a special enough. So I guess I got some homework to do, huh? A little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's talk about the the comedy thing. You're going to be. Uh, in Cedar Rapids on February 10th. You do know that winter in the Midwest is kind of brutal. I'm just saying. Are, are you ready for a Midwest winter? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm bundled up already. I'm ready. Who are some of your, your, your comedic idols? Who who are some of the guys that, that, that you look up to? Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, I mean, that list goes on and on. I'm a student of comedy, so I love it. I love it. And I was in all aspects of it. I love it. 
Awesome. Any uh, anything else that that's coming up for Kevin Hart that we should we should watch for? Um, you said you mind you. You guys know about the tour. Don't miss out. Get your tickets, man. This one's special. I'm gonna love it. Uh, I'm very proud and ecstatic about the progression that I've made and the stand-up comedian that I've turned into. I talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. So you don't want to miss it. Come out, have a good, uh, have a good time, and uh, you know, have a story to tell the next day. Any movies on on the horizon that you can tell us about? Uh, another movie coming out called The Upside. Uh, I'm about to, well, not about to. I was have another movie called Night School that I started and that I produced uh, with my company, Harvey Productions, along with Universal. Um, and right now, Picking will, will be my next film uh, based upon script improvement and rewrite. So. Very busy times, good times. Though. So, j- just just for the record, because I've seen er- it's a who's who uh, of who's going to be in it. You're not in the new Star Wars movie, correct? No, no. Yeah, unfortunately, I missed that right. <laughs> Kevin, thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of what I know is a busy schedule for you right now, and uh, we appreciate it. And we will see you February 10th in Cedar Rapids at the U.S. Cellular Center. Kevin Hart, thank you for sitting down with us and talking to us for a few minutes. Thank you, man. Appreciate you.